Earlier we were talking about the perils of family secrets, both keeping them and handing them, handling them once they're out in the open. Well, here now to take your calls is our very own Denise, and she's been unveiled as the go-to agony aunt for the cast of Corrie. It's Sue Cleaver is here too. Thank you for joining Welcome. us. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Um, we're going to get straight on the line uh, and speak to Kelly. Good morning to you, Kelly. Hi. Hi, thank you for calling us We've actually today. changed Kelly's voice, just so that if you were thinking that doesn't sound quite right, uh, she, she needed a voice change for this. So, Kelly, well, what's, what's the problem? What's the secret? Um, well, my daughter doesn't know that her dad, who's been bringing her up, is not actually her biological father. Right. We don't know how to break it to her, and the longer we've left it, it's, it's the harder it, it's been to tell her. How old is your daughter? She's primary school age. Primary school, okay. And you got there is no contact with the biological father. No, nothing at all. Okay. Okay, Denise. What do you do? Well, I think you know that it would have been much easier if you'd told her from the beginning, but now you have to deal with the situation as it is. I can tell you that it will be all right in the end, but how you handle it now is crucial. I would wait certainly until a school holiday because you don't want her going into school the next day um, because she needs time to adjust to it. In the meantime, I'll give you some sources of help that you can discuss it with and work out. And the way to approach it is that think how much he loves you, he's chosen you. Uh, later on, there will be questions she'll ask about her birth father and you need to be prepared for that too. But prepare now, pick your time when you're going to be together as a family uh, for a while, and it'll be OK. See. I think very much, well, I'm actually adopted myself, so it's, it's, um, it's a subject that's very close to my heart. But I think she still is in primary school, and although, yes, as, as Denise says, it's unfortunate that it's, you've waited till now, it's a lot better now than it would be if you then waited till her teens. So I do think that this can be sorted out. I do think as long as she's surrounded by love and she knows she's loved, that it is something that you as a family can, can deal with and get through together. OK, thank okay, you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hiya. Hi. What would you like to say? Oh, hi. I've been in a relationship for two and a half years. Um, I knew that uh, my partner had somebody else. Um, but he treated me badly over Christmas and I found out things and I got hold of her, told her about me, and now I think I've done the wrong thing about it. He doesn't want to know me now. So having an affair with a man who had a partner, and uh, and so you told his partner. Yeah. Uh, uh, so she, he said he doesn't want anything to do with her now. Did she do the right thing? Well, I'm really interested that you say this man treated you badly and that you knew he was with somebody else. Why you chose to stay in the first place? I think it's really important to own when you tell a secret, whether it's your secret to tell and the impact that you're going to have on somebody else and maybe you might create more pain in their life. So why did you decide that uh, not just to leave? Sarah? Sarah? Hello, I couldn't why, hear that. Why did you decide not to just leave? Because I love him. Because you love him. And did you think that by telling his partner that it would make that relationship break down and he'd come to you? Yeah. Yeah. Denise? Well, I'm concerned that, in spite of everything, you love him because he isn't playing fair by anyone. He's not being fair to you and he's not being fair to the other woman. And although I would not have told her, I would simply have walked, but at least she now knows. You see, she may be living in a dream world in which she's the only woman he loves. But the problem is that y you, could, she c you could walk Sarah, but Sarah says she loves him, so uh, that would be no. the last thing on her mind. What she wants to do is to, is ha to have him all to herself, um, and now she might have blown it because she's got involved with the other partner. I, I think, I don't know what Denise says about this, but I think the damage has been done now and it's mm. unfortunate it's, it's yeah. happened this way. I think it's really important that you looked at yourself and try and work out what love means to you because love is about respect mutual respect understanding and it doesn't sound to me like you've had any of that and I'm just wondering whether your idea of love is more about maybe a fear of being on your own of feeling you need to be with somebody and anybody will be better 
the nobody at all, which isn't love, it's about codependency then. We think, obviously, that you deserve better than him. I think you, you, you've got some real thinking to do about whether a man who will two-time you can ever be trusted not to two-time you again. If she walks out of his life, will there be somebody else? Do some real thinking, because I would like to see you with somebody who wouldn't lie to you. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much indeed. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for uh, today. Never enough thank time in this show, which is no. a real shame. Thank you, guys. Thank She's you She's good, much isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> and they all come to you, so on the cards, um, yes, come to I you. am a bit. I'm the, yeah, that's my other head. <laughs> is it? And you're being trained as well, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've, I've done uh, three years in psychotherapy, yes, yeah, so I've got my, uh, my own little agony arm column magazine, nothing like legend here, and uh, <laughs> a few clients myself. So, yes, yes, it's a, another side of me that I really enjoy. Oh, okay. So, thank yeah. you for the opportunity. Uh, thank you. Right, Loved it. Thank you.